Are you still optimistic that this won't be built? I am. I have a lot of faith in the state legislature to do the right thing. Hey, welcome to 2 News at 6 tonight. We do start with new developments from Little Cottonwood Canyon. UDOT says the gondola project is making progress and will help out the traffic situation in the canyon. And this is a story that we've been following since the beginning. In 2017, the legislature passed a bill giving $66 million to UDOT to develop traffic solutions in Little Cottonwood Canyon. In June of 2020, UDOT identified three alternatives, which included a gondola. In June of 2021, UDOT released its first environmental impact statement on the gondola. Last year in August, UDOT identified the gondola as its preferred option to improve transportation. Yeah, our two news team investigates uh, digging deeper into this problem concerning the gondola and this new project that was announced just today with an environmental impact statement. Some people so, though, say they still want to prevent the project from moving forward in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Then you for, thank you for joining us today for 2 News at 6. I'm Mark Cavell. And I'm Jamie McGriff. Tonight we begin team coverage as UDOT defends its gondola decision. Our 2 News investigates team digging into the outrage from opponents including top government leaders. But first, we're turning things over to Lincoln. Lincoln Graves has been following this story all day for us. He breaks down why the state is moving forward and has all sides from the supporters to the opponents of the project. Yeah, Mark and Jamie, uh, we found a pretty good vantage point of Little Cottonwood Canyon. From this vantage point, Hey, right now it just looks like a very picturesque place. There's no sign of the battle over how to improve transportation issues in the canyon. But UDOT says something needs to be done and they're taking action and opponents think they're taking the wrong action. A gondola in Little Cottonwood Canyon is one step closer to reality after UDOT released its record of decision on addressing transportation issues in the canyon. But it's not a done deal. Does this mean a gondola will be built in Little Cottonwood Canyon? It does not. Again, funding would have to be realized before that could happen. A gondola is included in phase three of UDOT's plan. Phase three isn't funded yet, and that's where gondola opponents see opportunity. Are you still optimistic that this won't be built? I am. I have a lot of faith in the state legislature to do the right thing. Robert Douglas of the Friends of Little Cottonwood Canyon is holding out hope the Utah legislature won't spend more than a billion dollars of taxpayer money to build it. If the legislature simply does not allocate bonds to build it, UDOT can't build it and won't build it. He says a majority of people are opposed. Two News reviewed public comments last year and found a majority were in opposition. So I asked the project manager about that. How do you contrast that with this decision today? So I th again, I think it's important to note that <clears throat> the public comment period isn't a voting referendum. UDOT also disputes how clear opposition was, saying some people and agencies commented multiple times. They also say the impacts of a gondola will be less than other alternatives, which could have harmed wildlife and water quality more. All the alternatives had impacts. They were different um, based on what transit mode they were using. And we do recognize that the gondola towers do represent a large visual impact in the canyon. Now again, the first two phases of UDOT's plan include increased busing options and infrastructure improvements, among other things. Gondola opponents believe they'll see progress after those phases are implemented and thus phase three won't be needed and legislators won't fund it. Live in Salt Lake County, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News.